Ah, yes, Big Mech. It is a fine army, isn't it? Yes, it is, but what about Little Mechs? What do you mean, what about Little Mechs? Oh, we need our Big Mechs. Big Mechs can't fix vehicles. Only Little Mechs can. What? Yeah. The hell? <laughs> Whoa! Welcome back to the Red Ones Go Faster. I am Old Big Mech, and indeed, Little Old Big Mech is correct. Big Mechs can't actually fix vehicles right now in 10th edition, which means I need Little Mechs to follow my vehicles. How are we going to do that? Let's figure it out. So for those of you that are confused uh, or don't know what I'm talking about, in 10th edition, the uh, index era for the orcs right now, because it's before Codex comes out, uh, they've changed things around on mechs and kind of how they function and all that stuff. And big mechs, um, they buff squads, but they don't actually do anything for vehicles. So if you want to repair a vehicle, um, which is the ability that the mech has, you need a regular old mech boy. Now, Right now, that's a problem. Uh, at the time of this filming, the regular mech boy has been out of stock from G-Dub for months, uh, and they're really expensive online, and they're also fail cast. They're old metal models that were then converted to resin, um, and they just kind of suck. So it's expensive, it's not great, um, and you can't get it even if it was available. So what's a boy to do, a war boss to do, or a big mech to do, especially when you can take three of these guys, and you really kind of need three of these guys? Well. Old Big Mac here has the answer for you. All right, we're here at the workbench, and the easiest way to make yourself a mech is to get yourself a box of Ludas. Uh, the Ludas and Burnas come with, well, a Spana. And a Spana is nothing more than a mech boy. So he's got this backpack right here with the wrench hanging out of it and the wrench on the little boss pole uh, and a bunch of other cool stuff. You get one of those, and you can give him a kill saw arm instead of a wrench and then you can take his little slugger and turn it into a custom mega slugger with some bits which is exactly what we're going to do with this particular guy here i'm also going to convert up one of the newer boys uh from the mono pose kit and the reason for that is you know as cool as this is this is a very static pose and in a squad of boys you know you can get away with it but if you've just got one mech hanging out there and all three of them look exactly the same uh, it could be a little difficult to tell them apart. So this particular body here, I thought would work really well for it, actually. And uh, yeah, I came up with some bits. So first of all, his actual arm that comes with it is great. Again, I'm just going to stick uh, a bit chunk on there to make it a custom mega pistol and put some gubbins on. And then for his other arm, we're actually going to give him a kill saw from the Mega Knobs kit. So i got to cut down his bicep there or cut this down, figure out what I'm doing in order to get that kill saw on him. So we're going to make those and I'm going to use a regular boss pull for him because it's kind of mech boyish looking uh, along with a cool head and some random gubbins. So uh, yeah, let's get hacking. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Big mech, you big cunning beast, you. If we take the Spana out of our Luda slash Burna kit, how are we going to have Luda slash Burnas? Well, in the Luda slash Burna kit, you actually get two of the backpacks. There's the one with the little grot helper in it. Um, and also, there's nothing special about the actual Spana. He just either has a rocket launcher, a big shooter, or a custom mega blaster. And you're not actually using the weapon. You're just using the other little bits that you need to actually make the mech boy look like a mech boy. And frankly... I think that that kit is going to be one of the ones that changes with our Codex update. Frankly, it's too good. It has too many bits in it. Um, and the old boy stuff like this, uh, I think, is going to be going away. Plus the whole awkwardness of having one spanner for every four Ludas. Yeah, they're just not going to do that anymore. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But basically, you're going to buy yourself one Luda kit anyway. You're going to make four Ludas and a spanner. You're going to have the spare backpack that you can use to make a mech boy and the four spare uh, burn us to make your burner boys and yeah, you're gonna make two squads out of them anyway So why not turn uh, make a whole nother unit out of it? So yeah, that's your answer All right, and as you can see we're uh, getting somewhere so simple just like building a regular old-school orc boy You put the uh, the legs down you put the body down you get that big old bootylicious butt poking out uh, Throw an arm on it throw a backpack on it. Not a big deal. Woo! Hey, good thing the glue's holding uh, yeah, and then that's our custom Mega Pistol, because that's what the regular Mech Boy has. Again, I just took a combi weapon part uh, from the bits bin, chopped off the uh, the pistol's little uh, ammo feed there, and added that to it, because it's got some wires hanging from it. So we'll just glue that on the side, give him a cool head. Boom, he's done. And uh, yeah, keep working on this guy now. 
All right, you can see we're really coming along. I ended up chopping, oh, I don't know where the chunk went, but uh, quite a bit out of right here on the, uh, the kill saw so that I could shorten it up and make it look more in line with uh, the boy here. Uh, glued that arm on, got a cool head on, got the boss pull on. He is starting to look like a mech boy. And this one over here, we've got the uh, the kill saw arm and the backpack on. And uh, we're ready to attach this. Alright, and we are some time later, but they are finally finished. Here is our mech boy based on the new uh, Monopose Orc boy. See, so we got the head swap there, modified his slugger quite a bit, put uh, some tubing to it. Customized a backpack out of a bunch of random bits to go with the uh, the boss pull on there Put the uh, kill saw on him and yeah, he looks right proper. He's got the uh, Kind of the look of having the apron uh, like the mech boy and uh, yeah on the right size base Everything looks nice and dynamic. We also have the old-school one that we made out of the Luda slash Berna um, Spana so he is pretty much the Spana out of the box um, head swap from one of the other heads. I think that might be a burner boy head um, that actually came in the box. Uh, given the little kill saw arm, made the custom mega slugger with the uh, the piece there from the combi weapon, and yeah, that's it. He is ready to go. So now I have two mechs that I can add to my army. And yeah, just for clarification, this is what the actual mech looks like. And again, he's not a bad model. Uh, it's just that he's been completely sold out for quite a while now, um, and he is a fine cast as far as I know, which is not my favorite thing to uh, mess with. But if I manage to get my hands on one, I will definitely add him in as my third mech. Correction, all the ones I'm seeing on eBay, uh, there's like some metal and some fine cast ones and stuff, but that particular one is actually in plastic now from Games Workshop. So... I will put a notification up, and when I find it, I will buy it. And that will be mech number three, which is the max you could take, and my armor's done. And so while we didn't paint anything this particular go-around, I did manage to put together the two most sorely needed models for my army, because it is so vehicle-heavy. So I will definitely add these to the pile to get primed, and with any luck, we'll have these boys painted up before the end of Orktober. Uh, thanks for sticking with Old Big Mech for another video here in Orktober. I've been doing one every single day the entire month on building and painting my Orc Wah and getting it uh, just as good as it can possibly be. So uh, again, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, you'll find some affiliate links down in the description below for uh, some of the hobby products that we use uh, featured on the video, uh, such as the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement and the uh, Loctite Super Gel and the, uh, the special clippers here. <laughs> Anyways, with that, we'll see you in the next video. And until then, log on!